Hey Stampers, it's Gainer again. Um, I've had a new framework for my camera, so hopefully there'll be none of this clangy clangy, shaky shaky and me knocking things about, so fingers crossed. Right, um, we're going to make this card today. Uh, it looks nice and plain and simple, um, but inside it is... It's called, I'm calling it the inner Z fold card with these beautiful little panels going on. So when your card opens, it looks like this. Isn't that cute? And I love the front. I'm loving this daffodil delight colour. It's beautiful. So I'm doing the same card, but I've added a few extra layers to this one. So you're going to need your card base, which is 11 by 4 and a quarter. And I've gone ahead and scored that in the centre at 5 and a half. Uh, I'm going to do that. Um, you're also going to need uh, a piece of Daffodil Delight, which is five and three eighths by four and an eighth. That's where that extra layer comes in. I didn't have that on the other card. Um, and then I've got a piece of Berry Vanilla, which is five and a quarter by four. You need two pieces of designer series paper. These are both cut at five and three eighths by four and an eighth. They're for the inside of the card, um, here and here, just to add a bit of decoration. You're going to need an, a piece, another piece of old olive, uh, which is eleven by one and a quarter. This is where your inner Z fold card comes from, and you're going to need four panels at two and a half by two and a half, and then four inlets for you to stamp on their two and a quarter by two and a quarter and there's four of each of those one two three four and there's that's daffodil delight that'll look lovely against the and then berry vanilla is there's four of those as well so you've got four of each so i'm going to put this together in a minute we're just going to score this now it's so simple you're going to score this at five and a half, uh, two and three quarters, and just flip it round, and then another two and three quarters. What I'm going to do is mountain, oops, the daisy, that didn't look straight, did it? Valley, yeah, and valley. Just like that. Just making sure the ends are. So that's how it's going to sit on the inside of our card. So let's get some attaching done. We can't attach our front panel and our two insides. I don't really want the blue showing, I want the green because. It's, these are my three main colours today. So let's get some adhering done. Taking the old ATG. Loving this. And these are being these are the decorations for the inside of the card. So giving yourself a nice little neat border all the way around. Perfect. And the same on this side. You can choose whatever colours you want to do, but this is my choice tonight. Um, I've just done another one of these, exactly the same, in Old Olive, Calypso Coral and Black for the Global Design Challenge. These were the colours they chose this week. I'll just show you quickly. This is the one I've just done. Absolutely adorable. And again, look at the design of this paper inside. These are our colours. It was Calypso Coral Black and Old Olive. And that's the one I made for that challenge. So quick and simple. Now with our, we're going to glue these two ends, but I only glue one first. Making sure nice and level and my folds are crisp uh, I'm going to 
I'll just pop this and show you on the end here. I'm going to level this up. I'm going to pull out a little tiny bit. And I'm going up to four. Keep still. <laughs> two, four, six, and then I'm adding this and it got to go right to the end because it's the same distance as your card, see? So it's up six, and there's two. And then the other bit now, we fold down, glue. And then we just fold our card over. And there she is. Yay! In that sweet. And then these lovely little panels then. They're going to go in there perfectly. You could make them smaller if you want, but I want the intention to be on the card. And I'll show you how we tap them later. It's cracking. So there for those. Um, that's the inside of our card done. And I'm just going to attach the yellow now. Gorgeous colour. And I used real red for the thank you. And I think it's adorable. <clears throat> it looks so sweet together. Who says we've got to say red for Christmas? I'm just going to make sure. Lovely little border all around. There we go. I got a little bit of fraying going on with my. Just had to change the blade again. Oh, look, that's going all the way up to the front. What's happening? Oh, well, that'll take the focus off when we. Uh, look, see? All this fraying going on. I'm going to cut a fresh piece. That doesn't look very neat at all. When I can grab it, slippery little sucker. <laughs> Look how tatty that is. Can you see it on the ends? I cut that before I changed my blade. I should have changed my blade first. So let's get this in. This is a four. Oh, I'm going to cut the long side first. Uh, five and quarter. Perfect. By four. I will put all the dimensions on my blog. Oh, look how crisp and clean that is now. Perfect. And that will go on my card after I have stamped. Perfect. <gasps> so, we're going to do said stamping now. I'm just going to pop all these little bits to one side. And I'm loving this delightful uh, Daisy Delight. It's absolutely stunning. Love it, love it, love it. <sighs> Itchy fingers I got. Let me see what I did on the inside of this one. Yes. And I'm going to have my delightful Daffodil Delight. My real red. What else kind of else did I use? And I'm going to use old olive as well because these are my colours tonight. The only bit of red is going on my flower tips. I'm even going to put the word in here in the red as well now. And this is I used um, crumb cake. I'm going to use old olive for this one. So get my stamp little. Um, Line up my doing everything with you tonight, people. I'm lining up my daisy on here. I'm going to be using this gorgeous little branch on here. And I'm going to be using the buds on there. My thank you is going on here. And my wreaths are going on here. I don't 
don't know if I get, yes, I can get them little flowers on. Oh, how well, cute. I'm using them tonight. And I'm also using them, oops, but I don't have a block so I can swap them over when I need them. Love my little basket, holds all my, uh, except for the very largest one. So we are going to pull in first the real red. Love this colour. And this is going to be where I stamp my thank you. Can you hear that? No shaking, no rattling. It's great. And I'm just going to pop this right down here in the corner. Oh, look at that font. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to close that up just for a minute. No, I'm not. I'm going to open it back up. And I'm going to take one of my little panels. Oh, i tell you what I forgot to do. Look at me. I'm being organised tonight. I've got my piercing tool with a bit of scrap on. So I've got a crisper image. <laughs> Just gonna borrow this um, stamp a sec. Da -da 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 -da. And I love the photo polymer stamps because you can see right through them. Oh, how cute is that? Right, now I can pop the red away. Absolutely gorgeous colour, the real red. I've got all this freedom and I'm not banging into my thing. It's great. So I can pop that to one side to be washed. I can put my lid. Oh, I do need my... I do need it again. Not yet, though. Um, I'm going to stamp my daffodils on here. I do want to put my ribbon on as well first, just the, the ribbon, because I want to make sure I know that I can't go any lower than that. So, here's my gorgeous scissors off Cindy, loving them, and I'm just going to trim some of that. I am going to do a bow with that ha after. But I definitely need, isn't that gorgeous ribbon? <gasps> Loving this stamp set. And I'll attach a little bit of tape. I know it, I might end up sticking it down, but... Oh, it's got to be done, because I'm a clumsy sod. <laughs> press too hard because I don't want it to stick to my paper. She said she did it. I did it yesterday and it was fine so because this is scrap underneath it doesn't matter so I'm having one of my daisies here. And I'm having one They're just a delightful thing. I'm having one up here. Oh, that wasn't too good. Let's rectify that by giving it a third coat. And I've gone over the same area. What the hell am I doing? Oh, stop it. I'll keep it like that. See what I mean? I don't want to come below the ribbon. I can't believe I've just done that. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. It's done for the video. It's 
So I'm just going to lift this up now. I don't care if I rip that, see, as long as I don't destroy my card. I can add this now because there's nothing else going over the edge. Oops. It would help if I put some tape on it, wouldn't it? I'm trying to stick something down with no glue on. <laughs> I don't know. I was having a, a moment then, girls. And I just... I just try to keep my taped. Right. This should stick then. <laughs> My ribbon now isn't going anywhere, so I'm going to set. That. I am going to do the centres uh, later, but I'm going to just set that to one side now. Get rid of my damaged piece, <laughs> and now we're going to start on the little pieces. Again, again, again. What are you doing? So my little grass, I'm going to be doing in the old olive. And that one is going on the first one. This is going on here. And I'm going to have three different levels on this. A little bit higher each time. And the same with this one. I'm just having two on this one. And then at the same height, roughly. And now my gorgeous little stems. And again, I'm going high, low, and high. How sweet. High. <laughs> Pop my old olive to one side. Now I'm going to fetch my real red back in. Love this colour. I can line up now. These little buds sit right on the end of these. Yeah. Oh, what's this one? Look how sweet they are. Grandson is learning to go without his nappy, bless him. Oh, I've stamped, I think, all that everywhere. Look how sweet those little buds are. They're gorgeous. I'm just going to... Look at that, it's ink everywhere. I'm going to pop that to one side to... Clear that off. I'm going to fetch in a little, uh, looks like wheat to me. Oh, I'm going to do, I'm going to do these red, I think. And they come down the stem a little bit. And I stamped them twice. They moved it slightly. So they looked a little bit fuller. Give me a minute. A bit glue there. It's gone now. So, stamp and 
turn it slightly. Stamp and turn it. Slightly. Just makes them look a little bit fuller. I did that on here, see? Double stamp them. Just moved over slightly. Aren't they sweet? Right, that is my stamping for the centre and for the red. I'll pop these to one side. I don't know why I pulled that little flower off. I didn't use it. Strange. Getting carried away. So I'm going to fetch back my... little centre now. I'm back with the Daffodil Delight. I'm just going to add gently. I didn't see I didn't go over the edge. Perfect. Go to be washed now. Right. Let's get the little bowl made. Oh, where she goes. All fingers and thumbs. I'm not the best bow maker in the world, but with this ribbon, it's quite easy. It looks, oh my God, look at that. Pop tight. This ribbon makes it look so easy. Look how cute. Oh look, and I managed to get all the cross stitch in the same way. So, How sweet. Thank you for my scissors, darling. I love you. Look how tiny that sweet little bow is going to be attached there. I'm going to do it. No, I'm going to... Oh, I have attached it to my friend. Da, da, da. I'm forgetting what I'm doing. I'm going to add that with a glue dot. Going right there. How sweet. Now we're going to attach these to these. I can get rid of the piercing that there. And I can attach my little image. You could do more like I did on the other one. Uh, I'm just showing you this as a quick reference for the video. Um, if you liked, I will put all the measurements on my blog and I'd love a thumbs up and a share. That'd be amazing. And if you want to see more of my videos and get notified, click the subscribe button. Truly, truly would appreciate that. Gonna frame these lovely little pictures now. They're so sweet. I suppose this would make a lovely birthday card for, say, uh, a slightly older lady or a Mother's Day card. Beautiful, even though Mother's Day is gone for this year. Uh, if you've got an animal set or one of them other coolest sets in the fairy range. You could have a different fairy on each one. One, two, three, four. Right, now to attach these, this is so simple. You're gonna open your card. You're just gonna put your glue on the center, a couple of layers, and then you're gonna line them up. And you've, I've got a lovely gap either side. And you can basically eyeball the centre. And once you get the first one in, the others will just fall into place. Because you know you've got the gap. Ah, what are you doing, Gainer? Big lass. 
Look, aren't I lucky that it comes off? <gasps> See, glue's gone. I'm so used to attaching. You could have more sentiments if you wanted. See, you can see the top and the bottom. Okay. It says, thank you. Your thoughtfulness brightened my day. Isn't that gorgeous? Again, line up. Making sure you've got the gap either side. Press down. Look at that lovely Z gold. And I do it in that bit so you don't go over. So again, line it up. Even either side. There's your lovely inner Z fold card. Oh, got some little jewels on the go. I'm just going to randomly place these. And I'm going to put three down the bottom. Quite close together. I used Whisper White on that card and I swapped this one over to Very Vanilla. So gorgeous. They don't look straight. I'm sorry, but I'm quite meticulous when it comes to my uh, pens and I don't. Better. Looks like a bit of hair on it. Oh, I don't know. There we go. There's the one I've just done with you. Oh, and if you don't like that bounce, this one seems to be fine. Um, grab yourself a glue dot. And just pop it right under your bow there. And that's it. So that's this is the Whisper White one, and this is the very vanilla one. I do hope you like that. I should have twisted that little bow a little bit more. That's better, so you can see the sentiment. But this is um, the one I did with Daffod's Little Delight, and this one was basically all old olive. But that's the way they sit on your desk. And they're called Inner Z Fold Cards. So I hope you liked. Um, a thumbs up and a share and a subscribe would be great. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.